I tried six of the most popular web browsers to see which one could dethrone Chrome as the top web browser. Getting started, the most widely apparent thing as soon as you open these web browsers is the interface. Now, a web browser is a web browser, so they look similar, but Chrome, Edge, Brave, and Opera are all running Chromium, which is the open source web engine developed by Google, so they're all using the same starting point. They're kind of just different flavors of the same thing. Now, I am testing Edge on Mac, which I realize is probably not the best representation of Edge, but I can say it feels really similar to Chrome. Firefox does does look relatively similar to Chromium browsers, though it is using a proprietary web engine. Safari definitely has the most unique, unconventional interface of all the browsers. The tabs are below the browser bar in the normal mode, and if you have it in the compact mode, they're actually in line with the browser bar. I've never seen anything like it. Continuing the theme of similarities, the speed and performance of these browsers are all pretty comparable. Chrome is fast enough, and the other Chromium browsers are pretty similar. Opera does have a lot of bugs and glitches, and every time I've tested it, I get fed up with pages freezing and not loading fast. And Brave does claim that it's more RAM efficient than any other Chromium browser, but I haven't really noticed this in my usage. I mean, it seems just as fast as any other browser. Firefox is a bit clunky with performance. It is fast, but because it's not based on Chromium, I find that sometimes web pages don't load properly. Developers optimize their pages for Chromium since that has the biggest market share, so sometimes you visit a website in Firefox and something just doesn't work right, and then you open it in Chrome and it loads perfectly. Safari is well optimized for Mac, claiming to have the best battery life and up to 50% faster page loads than Chrome. And because Safari is made by Apple, I think it's safe to say it probably is the most optimized and efficient browser for Mac. But I will say, take all of these metrics with a grain of salt because none of these companies disclose their testing methods, and at the end of the day, all of these web browsers are pretty speedy. The thing that's gonna set most of these browsers apart from each other is features. Google Chrome does have some standout features like user profiles, syncing data between devices using your Google account, and picture in picture when watching video. But Google doesn't really innovate or add any new features because they don't have to. Google Chrome is just seen as the browser to use, so if people are gonna download it and use it mindlessly, why would Google be motivated to make improvements? Now, Brave is based on Chromium, but there's a number of innovative features that make it a better browsing experience. First, there's a built-in ad blocker and tracker blocker. Google recently announced some changes for Chromium that's gonna make it more difficult for third-party ad blockers to function, but because Brave's ad blocker is built-in, in, it's not going to be affected by these changes to Chromium, even though Brave runs on Chromium, so Brave is really committed to privacy and making sure that you're not going to see those pesky ads on websites. Brave also has native support for IPFS and decentralized domain names like Crailer.crypto. And Brave has a built-in crypto wallet for storing your Bitcoin, Ethereum, or BAT, which is Brave's cryptocurrency that you can get through Brave Rewards. And speaking of Brave Rewards, Brave has an optional ads program that allows you to earn Earn BAT through viewing non-invasive ads in different parts of the browser. You don't view ads on websites, instead they'll put them in sections like the new tab page. I think this feature is a great option to have, but I personally don't use it. I don't want to see ads anywhere, even if I'm being offered some cryptocurrency. Opera follows Brave's pitch as a privacy-focused browser. It has a built-in ad blocker, support for Web3 domains, and an app sidebar for easy access to common messaging platforms. I do like that Opera has automatic picture-in-picture -picture Picture when you switch tabs. This is the one feature that really makes me want to use Opera, and I have yet to find it in any other web browser. Firefox is the most vanilla browser besides Chrome. It does have a built-in tracker blocker, but you still have to get a third-party extension to block ads. It does have a profiles feature, but there's no interface to easily change users. You have to go to some back-end settings page to be able to do it, and it feels extremely unfinished. Microsoft Edge is a Chromium browser with an emphasis on productivity. It has features like vertical tabs, collections, package tracking, and AI-assisted text composition. Now, every web browser in this video gives you the ability to hit that subscribe button, so be sure to take advantage of that feature. Safari uses Apple's proprietary WebKit engine, and while there is a built-in tracker blocker, there's not much else to Safari feature-wise. You are able to use Apple Pay and Safari on Mac, but other than that, Apple pretty much claims that Safari is better because, well, Apple. They say it's faster and more battery efficient on macOS than any other browser. Taking a look at the privacy of each browser, Chrome is a 
Google product, and Google is a data company. So why then would Google make a web browser? Like, what's the incentive? Well, it makes it easier for users to access their products and services. Things like Google Search, Gmail, and Google Drive. These are all products that Google wants people to use, they want them to work properly, and they want to be able to collect data on users so they can target ads to them on Google Search, YouTube, and their other websites. Edge, Opera, and Brave are also Chromium browsers, so there's definitely some data privacy concerns there. Edge is created by Microsoft, which is definitely not the most privacy-focused company. I'd say they're better than Google, but they still do have Microsoft advertising where they run targeted ads on Bing and their other services. So Microsoft does have an interest in collecting user data to be able to sell more ads. Opera is owned by a Chinese company, so do with that information what you will. Brave was created by the co-founder of Mozilla, so there's a huge emphasis on privacy, yet it still uses Chromium. Safari uses Apple's own WebKit engine. This means that all the code is controlled by Apple, unlike Chromium browsers where Google theoretically could track user data even with a browser like Brave or Opera. Now, I personally think Apple is pretty trustworthy with user data because they're not a data company. Apple makes their money by selling you hardware and subscription services. But I know some people still aren't gonna trust Apple because they are a big company, and in that case, Firefox is gonna be your best bet. Firefox Firefox runs on their own proprietary web engine, and their parent company Mozilla is a nonprofit organization that is committed to user privacy and making the internet a better place. I think privacy is among two huge deciding factors in which web browser you should use. That other factor is which third-party extensions are available. Google Chrome and Chromium have a sizable extension library. This is because developers can make one extension that works with all Chromium browsers, and since Chromium powers the majority of web browsers, browsers like Chrome, Opera, Edge, Brave, and more, it makes so much more sense to build an extension for Chromium than focus on all the other web engines out there like WebKit and the Firefox web engine. Firefox and Safari both have their own extension libraries due to the fact that they run on proprietary web engines. Firefox has the second largest extension library and it's not that far behind Chrome. Safari is the most lacking and I miss extensions that I like to use like vidIQ, TubeBuddy, and Reward shopping portals. I do see why Google Chrome is most people's go-to browser. It's smooth, it's simple, and it has all of the browser extensions. But I personally didn't like using a Google browser. I kept trying to get away from Chrome, but I wanted the reliability of Chromium, and that's why I settled on Brave. It has the built-in ad blocker, and it has all the privacy features, but it still has the reliability of Chromium and all of the Chrome extensions. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to prioritize either privacy or performance, and Chromium is the best performing web engine, though there are concerns about data privacy. If you want to get away from Chromium entirely and you're okay with sacrificing the extension library and the reliability, I think the best non-Chromium browser on Mac is Safari. It's going to be the most reliable and most optimized. And if you're on Windows, well, really your only choice is Firefox. Every other Windows browser runs on Chromium. So if you want to know why I chose to use Brave over Chrome specifically, I have an entire video about that here.